And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Azorius control in best of one. That's right, it's best of one day, Monday. So that's what we got going on today. The last deck that we played with Rakdos Sacrifice was very impressive. It was a list from GP Leon this past weekend, and this list also was from GP Leon. These two decks. The other ones, not not as not so much. But these two ones were. We're playing them the best of one. <clears throat> but we still have I still have like the entire 75, you know, including sideboard. So if you want to play these decks in best of three, you can. Um and all the decks work for best of three, ex except for like the Fae of Wishes, because that really messed up the sideboard. But the other two decks you can play in best of three also. <clears throat> anyway, um, Azorius Control here. I'm not I'm not sure if we need to change stuff for best of one. We'll kind of play some games and, and find out. The thing I'm I am worried about really hyper aggro. That's the one worry that I have for the deck. So it's possible that like the glass caskets need to be in the main deck over other things. I'm not sure if Brazen Borrower, for example, will be good enough in best of one being a bounce spell. Um I'm not sure. We'll just we're we're gonna play some games and kind of find out here. Um yeah, there's still lots and lots of Oko. So yeah, main deck mystical dispute um works out here um and uh so the deck lives and dies by how you make use of brazen borrowers well hopefully we use them pretty good <clears throat> there's still a lot of oko decks in best of one also and so that's what we're going to be trying to beat those decks and going over the top of them agent of treachery and mass manipulation are two cards that i think are awesome in this metagame and uh in the oko metagame that is and then, you know, we have some other good top-end cards with Gadwick and Finale of Glory. Um, yeah, we've played a good amount of Azorius Control on the channel. One thing that, that's a little bit different in this deck that I like is there's three copies of Castle Ardenvale. So lots of Castle Ardenvale. Um, I think this is an awesome card to be able to have to be able to make 1-1s in the late game for blockers. So you don't have to try to kill every single last creature. You can, you can uh, kind of... Uh, block one threat for a long time and wait for them to play another threat and then time wipe. Uh, and best of one time wipe, of course, is going to be key for us. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. You know, we may change stuff during the video. We may may add in like glass cassettes and stuff. Um, in uh, later, nope, no, no planar cleansing, which I think is fine. Planar cleansing isn't really good against Nissa because Nissa makes lands that are three threes. And Planar Cleansing is very expensive. I think it's fine not playing it. Okay, so let's let's play some play some games. We're gonna be playing in ranked. That's what these uh, that's what the R by all these are. It's it's just easy to play best of one in ranked where we're just gonna play seven matches. So hope you know we'll play seven matches. Hopefully we don't go zero and seven. <laughs> That'll be bad. Um, but you know we went six and one with Rakdos Sacrifice. All right, perfectly good hand. We need our blue fox. All right, so it looks like we got Simic to start with. No, it's Simic Flash. Not Simic Oko. That's bad for me. Deckmaster shows you the starting hand before I'm in the match. <laughs>
Yeah, it's not great for me. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's probably less Oko decks overall, but there's still there's still a lot of them. We played against either two or three Oko decks. Um, I'm not sure which we played against either two or three Oko decks with the sacrifice deck. go. Those are good cards. So I guess next turn we'll have Time Wipe. <clears throat> time Wipe plus Dovin's Veto plus Mystical Disputes. It would be really nice to draw a land to be able to have all of those. Of course, we, the Brazen Borrower is something that pairs really well with Time Wipe. Of course, because this is something we can pick up. So hopefully we draw a land here. Yay. Uh, that's not good tapping. Yeah, that'll work. Worked out. Hmm. Hey, Zerf, doing good. We got some good best of one magic today. I want to draw lands because otherwise we kind of have to go to discard. I, mean, I, could, I can throw out this borrower, but it's instant speed interaction, so I don't really want to do that. And discard this prison realm. So do I just cast borrower? I mean it's just if I just cast borrower, it just gets countered. Come on, draw some lands. Countering it because it's some you know means that we don't have to go to discard basically. It's 
I'll use this mystical dispute while I can. While I counter something. Hey, what's up, boot? Oh, thanks, MTG Strategist. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just don't tap. All right, good. Land. I don't think I need to shock it in. I don't think. Think, I don't think so. Yep, Agent Treachery could steal a land and then and then uh, we could time wipe to do it again to bounce it, but uh, it's just kind of unnecessary though. Like it's just kind of taps me out for something that's going to get countered. Don't really need to do it. Alright, wanna know. But yeah, this yeah, that's true. This deck does have a lot of fun things to do. The bouncing the like even like like the brazen borrower with time wipe works really well. Hey, Rickard. Doing really well. Best of one day Monday. Like what we got going on here? <laughs> yeah, the card the card award was an elk. So even the awards are affected by Oko. Yep. Yeah, Gadwick is incredible. Yeah, we saw like we won that game because of the Castle Arden Veils. I, I I'm glad that we have three Castle Arden Veils. That's just a card that we're gonna want most of the games. I'm shocking in the Hallowed Fountain to represent strength. But obviously that card was a card that I couldn't deal with. But I, I don't think that I just let Narset resolve. I don't think that that's the correct thing to do. If I had three mana and if I would have, you know, if I was on the play and if I could have bound, if I could have played a borrower in response to the Narset to kill the Narset, I would have let it resolve, but... I thought it was pretty obvious that my opponent had to ferry also for how long they waited. Only time will tell. But I think it was necessary to counter Narset. Yeah, so I, I paid life because... Huh. Hmm. 
Yeah, we paid we paid life because I was planning on using the th the three mana on my opponent's turn, even though I didn't use the mana that turn. Whenever I used the shock land, um, I w I wanted to be able to have access to three mana on my opponent's turn before I untapped. Yeah, this is a 5-5 five five that just can sit back and draw cards, though. That's a pretty cool animation with, like, the, the purple and yellow. That looks kind of cool. Casualties of War. Hey, Yud. Mind and body should move Thumbnail's ready. Thank you so much. I have just the trick for this. More Narsets. They never stop. They never stop narsetting. Oh my gosh, I can't draw two. I don't draw two, there's a narset. Ugh, I just draw one. That was just a bad decision. Hmm. I'm known for my excellent timing. Let's try this. But like, what's my other de my other decision is just is just counter it and then play borrower and then borrower attack Narset. Yeah, that's what Meditate I should do. And prepare. Rage. I don't feel like I played this game very well. Might demands power. Hmm. Stop that. Now. So why can either guys target things that are not even on the board and Brazen Borrower cannot? Because, yeah, because basically either guy says targets, like in the card it says target spell. Whenever it says target spell, um, that means things that are on the stack. Keep an open mind. That's what spell refers to it. And so that's why it can. That's why Ether guys can target things that are on the battlefield. This part, this just says per, um, target permanent with Brazen Borrower. So permanents are things that are on the battlefield. Watch this. I must train harder. I guess I could have kept that land in hand to ditch to insight. I guess. Um, there is no, there is no information about Oko being banned. It's, you said you heard a rumor that it could be. I mean, that's that's just base. It's just all speculation. Like it's possible that it is. <clears throat> um, the next band the next band announcement is 
um, two weeks from today on the 18th. And so it's it's possible that Ogo gets banned, but there's no no information about it being banned. Because they're not they're not gonna make any announcement about that until the 18th. Well I'm glad I played that land, so I get to time wipe and replay borrower to attack Sarkin. So that worked out. I mean that's that's what our deck is is trying to play against Simic. That's that's the kind of matchup that we want. All right, so they're playing that for a blocker. It's not a great land to discard. But we got three of them. Darn. That's more like it. I wanted to do that during my main phase so that if we hit because I wanted to be able to play another land if we had if we grabbed a land. For borrower. So we'll be able to bounce the Sarkin and recounter Sarkin. So they'll just have three mana to spend. I'm glad they had a temple here ready? so they they can't have like fires of invention also. Good question. So the question is, do you think move. that best of one is more a be ready for everything type of deck format or a be solid on what your deck does oh, I've done type of deck format? Before. I think it's it's definitely the I think it's definitely the second one, the be solid on what your deck does. Um, because it's just one game, it's hard to have great interaction for everything and so you want your you want your deck to do what it does very well that's why a deck like racto sacrifice doesn't it doesn't matter what the opponents plays with racto sacrifice it's going to do its thing and that's why it did really well this control deck like being hyper control like this where you're able to control kind of no matter what opponents do is a good spot to be as well Well, this isn't great. Yeah, I liked the Cavaliers in the Sacrifice deck. They they performed well. I wish I could just Brazen Borrower bounce or block this thing. Um, of course, I re I regret. Kind of regret using that Prison Realm now. I really should have seen that coming. I basically I didn't want to make it so they could just like pretty easily bounce their Fey of Wishes back to their hand. With the prison realm, but obviously, if I if I knew that they had Cavalier of Flame coming the next turn, I would have played differently. I thought I was okay with you know like their threats because I had the veto, but Cavalier of Flame is a threat you cannot veto. Yay. That's a great draw. Hey, Elijah. 
Ooh. That card's good. I don't know. Maybe that card's not so good because they can maybe castle and find an answer. Absorb would have used my mana better, so I could have made an extra token here with Finale. To be able to still have Veto. But we've seen them have like the creatures and everything. I guess I guess I didn't really count it out though, because as we see here I have nine power on the battlefield that I would have had eleven. So I guess, yeah, I didn't count it out. I should have counted it out. So yeah, if I would have absorbed and held up Veto, then I would have had Lethal here. Been representing it, at least. Yeah, I thought I thought the Cavalier of Night did more for us than... Ra like, we, we defeated a Simic... Do I let that resolve and then counter Casualties of War, or just counter this thing? I guess I might as well just counter this thing. We defeated um, Simic Flash one game, sim because Cavalier of Night definitely won us that game, where Rankle would not have at all, and even against the Zorius Flyers, the Cavalier of Night was good. Yeah, I, I liked the Cavalier of Night. I liked it. I wouldn't want to necessarily just replace it with... with Rankle. Now we are on fire today with our draws. Sorry I'm late. This might be a bad idea. So now of course I get to just bounce the borrower, so if they they put a spell on top, so that spell is just a sweeper, which is what I'm assuming that they would have put on top was like a you know a Clarion or a time wipe. I can just still, they, they can play their sweeper, and then I can just flash in Borrower afterwards. Oh. Their card was a Kenrith. What? I mean, Kenrith can, what, gain 5 life? Oh, they can do that twice. They can gain 10 life. Ugh, that's a lot of life. Alright, well, I guess that's a lot of life. Um, yeah, I, I played that list on the stream decker. We just didn't play the, we didn't use the sideboard because we just played best of one, but there's the sideboard if you like sideboards. No! I didn't click this fast enough. I want it to upkeep scry. I'll protect you. My Kenrith worked out pretty well there. Grab Prison Realm this time. Get some more Scry Bottoms in there. Now, of course, I don't have the Borrower, so they, they do have a... They do draw a Sweeper here. I'm in a little bit of trouble. Ugh, that sounds 
pretty bad. I'm sorry, Matthew. Yeah, Kenrith's pretty crazy. I haven't played enough Kenrith. They have three Kenriths in their deck. I need to play some more Kenrith and like Abzan. I need to write it down. I I thought about building, but then I just had like all these de these decks already. But I thought about building for today an app because I just haven't played enough Abzan. Um, an Abzan anti aggro deck for best of one. Just like really, just hammer aggro decks and yeah, maybe you don't beat control, but a lot of like life gain removal kind of stuff. No, that's really bad. That means they get Kenrith back, kill my Teferi, kill my Borrower. I guess they don't have enough mana to... I guess that doesn't save them, though. They need one more mana. So wait, Casualties doesn't save them at all, does it? Because they kill Borrower, they get... what? They can get rid of one thing, like if they get rid of, if they get to fairy or like no matter which one of these they kill, they they basically take out two of my creatures, but the other two do, do four damage to them. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Right? So they, they're still at four, and I have four. Like, they block one, they take four. Cool. Well, I mean, even if they went to Fairy and drew an, a new card... And, you know, get Kenrith back, they... Unless they didn't play a land yet, and they still had a land drop, they couldn't play anything else because of Fires. They had to... I'm not sure if they already played a land or not. That's your best of one, Grixis Control. Grixis Fias. I like it. I'll save it. Maybe I'll get. Maybe I'll play that next weekend, next Monday. go first with a two lander I like the hand though yeah now we have two like top end cards I'm gonna mulligan okay let's keep these prison realms Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Farchow says, this deck beating a Fires of Invention deck is no joke. That's some good stuff. It's true. It's not easy beating those Fires of Invention decks. The Gargoyle...
Awkward mana for sure. The only way to have three mana untapped on turn three was to Fable Passage a Plains earlier, but I don't want to Fable Passage Plains. I want to Fable Passage Island, so. My island. We have some really impactful hits they could get with the Gargoyle. So much that it may be a little bit more difficult to win the game later. So I'm just going to get rid of this thing. They're playing Cutthroat. they got to be playing a lot of instant speed stuff. So Teferi's got to be pretty good. Rude. That's weird. I don't really want Gadwick to get countered. What I said that was weird is because I scried to the top and yet they didn't gargoyle to make me remove the top card of my library. Alright, so we hit three out of four spells, which is what I want to see because I really want to draw a land here. I really want to have six mana. No, I think Approach of the Second Sun is probably too slow for Pioneer. That would be my guess, at least. Um, well, it's, we didn't get a land to double spell, but we got a veto to double spell, so good enough. <laughs> I need to say please next time. All right. There, I'll say please. So if I play the Teferi, they can flash in the, the Borrower in response, and then I don't have... Um, I, I can't, like, bounce both of them. So that's why I went with the Prison Realm. Yeah, Devin said, please. I, I want to inside main phase to hit a land drop. <clears throat> I'm going to do it. Good. Just sets up my next turn a lot better. Hey, so this is kind of like what we're, we're playing next, next, or in two times. We're playing Demir Flash, which is very similar to what my opponent's doing. I'm just playing Sabotage, not Didn't Say Please, and I'm not playing Vantress Gargoyle. This isn't a very good Teferi. We kind of need a time wipe. A 
three one's gonna be difficult to deal with. Let's slow this down. Trust me, I have a plan. Oh, I guess it would not have been that difficult to deal with. So I can I can have Castle make a one one to be able to block this Black Lance Paragon. Hey, Solifer. Thanks for the tier one sub. Yeah, it didn't say please does sound like an unhinged card. This is hardly it really does. Defeat. Our seventh sub of the day. As y'all notice, the sub notifications are working again now. Thanks, Solifer. Um so what do we got? We got three cards in hand over here. be a great time to play Gadwick. Like, if you tell me Gadwick's gonna resolve, like, if you tell me for sure they don't have a counter spell, I'm playing Gadwick. I could go to Fairy and then Gadwick for two. Hey, Plumber. Hmm. I'll just pass turn. Yay, I'm, I'm definitely glad they didn't have anything else to play. I want to kill this cutthroat. That's unfortunate. So Gadwick for three. It's not bad. Stop. I am not going to sit this one out. Definitely looking for time wipe. Yay. I have to bounce something, because otherwise, if I don't, if I just tick up and this is removal spell for Gadwick, that's lethal. I can't afford that. No, I am not making this up as I go. So I would rather kill Brineborn Cutthroat with Time wipe and have them play the Paragon and with Flash. So I've got to hope this last spell is not a counter spell. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Why should I have bounced before Gadwick? Oh, just to see what I drew? Oh, because I could have drawn a time wipe. Wow. 
Wow. That's pretty awesome. I know my responsibility. Here we go. That was big time. Don't worry, I got this. I don't like that auto tap too much. Darn. That didn't go according to plan. Yeah, I could have picked Prison Realm back up and then cast the time wipe on my turn instead. Turn in the corner. I guess I should have done this first if this was my plan. Cool. Oh, we only got one animation, but we played two of those things. Hey, Giovanni. So that should do it. There we go. And 3-0 with Azorius Control. We have not run into the Hyper Aggro deck so far. We've played against three other decks with blue in them. And so far, so good. <laughs> Game. Yeah, Mass Manipulation's a pretty unfair card. Pretty unfair card over there. All right, game number four. Yeah, it's just not a very good metagame for aggro. <laughs> Oko is aggro. I, don't know, I kind of feel like I'm supposed to counter that. I'll protect you. It's a little awkward here. I want to Fable Passage for Island, but then that means Castle comes into play tapped. <laughs> Man, 
an icon of ancestry. Pick a name elk. OP. You have your elks be bigger than their elks. All right. Well, they didn't do anything, so I think my my three mana here is good enough. With I can have veto and dispute, so we'll just play the castle. But you know, this is team of reclamation. My assumption here, Teferi, very good against wilderness reclamation, and they have their removal is going to be red damage based. Here we go. Maybe I need to get planes. It's like the thing is, is I don't really want to play. You know, I could just like I could just play Borrower last turn, but I don't want to play things because then otherwise they like they get a card out of their hand if they want to use Shock. Three, four, five, six, seven. So I could I could get planes and then activate Castle. Kinda awkward. Let's try this. Well, time wipes the worst draw in my deck. So glad we got that one there. My card doesn't do anything with the fairy, right? It just doesn't do anything. Gives me a target to bounce to draw another card. I think the fairy will still have enough loyalty going down to five. Do you think that standard needs more burn spells to any target? Um. No, I am not making this up as I go. Not necessarily. I don't think it really needs more one drops either. I think there are a lot of good one drops. I think the two drops are kind of where there's there's not very good two drops. I think there's a lot of good one drops. More like it. Days Undoing has some of the best art of any card. I really like its art. Let's speed this up. A 
What? Discard Flame Sweep. But it's like their best card. Don't worry, I got this. I wish you could play Gadwick at instant speed. I guess that's the the card that I'm supposed to care about here. No, they had nothing to follow that up with, and we just have lethal. And to fairy winning another game. That Teferi card's pretty good. Alright, I'm going to do a reset of Arena. Um, we're kind of halfway through our league here. Been playing for about an hour. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reset. I don't know anything about Pioneer. I don't know anything about it. And my setup for, like, it was the right deck, but it doesn't, okay, good, standard ranked. It didn't say that before, so I just want to make sure that we're in the right spot. was a little awkward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are on fire today. Um, this could be where it comes crashing down, though. Against the innkeeper. One mana creatures... It's more difficult to deal with. So, of course, I need to find... Um, So, yeah, I just did the, the Brazen Borrower immediately. Like, I was going to be doing that anyway. I don't want them to be able to just, like, respond... with something. Just kind of doing that immediately. So yeah, alright, so we need we need time wipe, of course. So we need a fifth mana and time wipe. Now this this list was from was from the top eight of the Grand Prix this past weekend. So I wouldn't necessarily say that it's tuned so that it's tuned for best of one, but it's been working just fine in best of one for us. I was I was interested to see if we were gonna have to change anything, but so far so good. But also we we've played four blue decks, and so we're four zero against the blue decks. Sorry, I'm late. That's more like it. They got. They still have six cards in hand. Because innkeeper.
You just let me know if you're up for round two. Want that extra one one? Sack it. Yeah, I didn't. Well, no time wipe. No time wipe. This down. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Yeah. Yeah, it has yeah, the the four color sacrifice. Yeah, I liked the nickel bolus in there. I that was something that I didn't really consider putting a nickel bolus in that deck. That was really cool. But yeah, I just had I just wrote about like the the top eight and everything, and uh, just that that tournament in general. All the decks that did well, decks that didn't do well. Um, really Only long time. post. Yeah. Wrote that for the Patreon page earlier today. If y'all are members of the Patreon, it didn't. Uh, didn't see that. Um, so what, I'm at seven. I, no, I, I don't think that this is, I don't think you need planar cleansing at all. Um, good chance that they were just holding on to Unbreakable Formation that would have blown me out with Time Wipe, or they just drew it. I guess, I guess if they had it before, they probably could have killed me before, so maybe they just drew it. Alright, four and one. <laughs> but we did see, like, the Brazen Borrowers looked really bad. Um, compared to playing Glass Casket. Like, against aggro, you'd much rather have Glass Casket than Brazen Borrower. The, the card just didn't... It wasn't good there. But it's all the, against all those blue decks, Brazen Borrower is awesome. So I think that's what... You know, aggro is really where we're going to struggle. We're going to need Time Wipe. Um, that's okay. That's not good. It's definitely not good. No counter spells or other creatures. Darn. So 
Feldar Guardian, Leyline of Abundance, and Oath of Nyssa. Oh, thanks, Janini. So we're just going to kind of keep on uh, slamming removal spells. Hey, and then Janini gets a gifted sub. Thank you so much there, Drug Wizard. For the gifted sub as well. Alright, we're gonna keep the land. So I'll have time wipe next turn. And then. Uh, I guess I'm not dead immediately if this gets countered. Then I'll. I would still have. You know, I'd still just go to down to one, but all right, not countered is good. It's gonna be really hard to to beat Flash here, though. Do you think it's worth it to craft seven rares and three mythics to make the Rakdos sacrifice? Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I do think that's a it's a really good deck. You want to, to rank up and everything. Now, just remember, especially for best of one, but I mean, it's still it's still playable for best of three also. But now, remember that there there is the BNR announcement on the 14th, so something could change there. All right, so we lost to a blue deck for the first time. We we beat the flash deck previously, but. Their hand was a lot better this time than what it was last time. Mine not as much, with every land being ETB tapped for me. Um, the three cavalier, you know, if you don't want to use the mythics, I mean, I think the other, I think the priest, the gutter bones, the midnight reapers, I think those are all pretty uh, vital. But the cavalier of knights, if you have like rankle. That's the card that other people have been saying, but Rankle or maybe Chandra. I think you could try replacing those, but I really I did like them whenever we played earlier. So that could be something maybe to replace. Responsibility. Priest costs more mana to replay, but Gutter Bones hits harder. I've got time. Holy Priest. Ayara. That card's cool. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Trust me, you'll thank me. Here we go. We've not been doing a good job of drawing time wipe. Oh, 
not doing a very good job of drawing time wipe. I don't really want to just like insight look for time wipe because a Yara drawing them the cards and everything is something I don't really want to deal with. So this is four two twos. Probably pretty greedy putting that to the bottom. See my opponent playing like Spawn of Mayhem or something though. And then that thing not doing anything. No, there's no Realm Cloak Giants in here. Uh, there's there's like one in the sideboard, but you know, not not in the main deck that just has the four time wipe. There we go. I like shuffling those cards back too. First time wipe, but yeah, still got a lot of cards in hand. But we're slowing them down. I really wish Brazen Borrower would be able to block. It would be such a good card if it could block. This card would be incredible if it could block. Down to five. So I could take the priests and then you know be able to like make one ones with castle to be able to you know sacrifice to the priest. It's, it's obviously a very slow process. I think I kind of just want to take this life linker honestly instead.
down to four. Gross. Yay. So play island or hold on to it to insight? I guess we hold on to it. Oh no, are you kidding me? Oh, that's a good draw. Okay, so we're going to go... Um, I need to leave four. All right, you're getting played. So I have four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can do this for five. All right, found the fourth prison realm. I'm gonna keep the game life land. All right, pretty sweet little game there. And a good five and two for Azorius Control. So this worked in best of one, even though, you know, we just played the list from uh, GP Leon, but it, it did work pretty well in best of one. We played against a lot of blue decks, you know, five of the seven decks that we pay, played against were blue decks. There is still a lot of slower decks in best of one also right now. And so this is just trying to go bigger than all of the other blue decks. We certainly relied on time wipe. Prison Realm was amazing for us as well. If you do play against more aggro, as we talked about, maybe replacing Brazen Borrowers and some some Veto and Dispute, replacing those for earlier removal spells, like being able to play like Glass Caskets um, in here, and then, yeah, could play like a Realm Cloak Giant for a fit, Fifth Sweeper also. So those are, those are other options there. Um, if you do face more aggro, you know... Um, Agent of Treachery, Dovin's Veto, Dispute, and Borrower. Those are all slots to trim or cut. I'd, like, if you're facing lots of aggro, I'd probably just cut Borrower and Agent of Treachery. Like, those five slots gives you... Yeah, probably just, just cut, like... Probably just cut those two cards. And with those five slots, you can play, like, four Glass Caskets and a Realm Cloak Giant. And that should shore up the aggro matchup if you face lots of aggro. And then you still got counters and stuff. Um, yeah, it's true. Angel of Grace is a good anti-aggro card, too. That's true. It is. Um, I mean, so is Devout Decree, but that one's a little narrow. Well, not really. I mean, Devout Decree hits every aggro deck, but it just doesn't do anything against other decks. But I guess that's kind of like Glass Casket, too. <laughs> every time I queue up Blue Eye Control, you go second against Mono Red Aggro. Uh, that's, that's the rough life, for sure. All right, but that was Azorius Control. Fun deck to play there. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please hit that like button and leave some comments. I would appreciate both of those. And also, please check out the Patreon page. Um, put up a post today about uh, going th like analyzing all the results from GP Leon this past weekend. Lots of good data in there. Um, it's $3 a month. There's a link in the description if you're watching on YouTube. All right, uh, that's it here for, uh, I'll put a, a link here also. That's it here for Azorius Control, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.